Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at finding the flux of a vector field across a surface. So the flux of the field we want to find is x i hat plus y j hat plus z to the 4 k hat. So we want to find the flux of this field over the part of the cone z equals square root of x squared plus y squared beneath the plane z equals 1. And we want to have downward orientation to our normal vector. So we want to be finding the flux down. So if we look at this cone that looks like this, we want to have our normal vectors pointing this way. So we want our normal vectors to point away from the cone or down in the negative z direction. So our normal vectors need to have a negative z component. Well, the first thing we need to do is to try to parameterize this cone. So it's a circular shape, so what I suggest is try to do something like s of r comma theta, where we let x equal r cosine theta, y equal r sine theta, and then z equals square root of r squared, which is just r. So this really turns out to be a nice parameterization um, for this cone. Now, the cone stops at z equals 1. Well, z is equal to r. So r is going to range from 0 to 1. So 0 less than or equal to r less than or equal to 1. And here, theta is going to go all the way around the z-axis. So 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 2 pi. All right, so that's our parameterization for this cone. So we've parameterized the cone, and now we need to find our normal vector. Um, our normal vector is going to be, well, possibly s r cross s theta. So let's find s sub r. s sub r is going to be cosine theta, comma sine theta, comma 1. All right, so that is s sub r, and s sub theta is going to be differentiate with respect to theta. So we get negative r sine theta, r cosine theta, and 0. So differentiating with respect to theta, that's what we get. So sr cross s theta, take the cross product. That's going to be, let's see, i hat is going to be 0 minus r cosine theta, so negative r cosine of theta. And then j hat is going to be negative, but then parentheses 0 minus negative. So negative, 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 but still negative. So that's negative r sine theta. So just be careful in this cross product, i, j, k. Um, just verify. We cover up the j. We get 0 minus negative r sine theta, but it's j, so it should be negative. So three negatives there and then cover up the k hat, we're going to get r cosine squared, r cosine squared theta, plus, and then mul multiply these two, get r sine squared theta. It's actually minus a negative, so I just said plus. And now we can reduce that to be negative r cosine of theta, negative r sine theta, and r. All right, so that is potentially our normal vector, but I have to check for the r values that I have here, what are the z components doing? So this has a positive z component, so this is the normal vector that points up. So I've got these normal vectors that point up for this cone. So sr cross s theta points up, and I don't want to be finding the flux up. I want to find the flux down. So this points up. So we use the negative instead. So we use s theta cross sr instead. And that's going to be just negate this. So we get r cosine theta, r sine theta, and negative r. So there's our normal vector. All right, so the flux is the surface integral f of s dotted with, in this case, s theta cross sr. 
right, and so then dr d theta. All right, so what is the field? The field f is equal to, if I plug in my parameterization, it's going to be r cosine of theta i hat plus r sine theta j hat plus z to the 4 is just r to the 4 based on our parameterization. And so I want to dot product that with my s theta cross sr and just remind ourselves s theta cross sr is r cosine theta i hat plus r sine theta j hat uh, minus r k hat. All right, so we've got the integral of the dot product of these two. So we're going to have integral 0 to 2 pi for theta, integral 0 to 1 for r, and dot product of these two, this can be r squared cosine squared theta plus r squared sine squared theta minus r to the fifth and then dr d theta. This can be simplified to the integral 0 to 2 pi, integral 0 to 1, r squared minus r to the fifth dr d theta. All right, so I don't have theta anywhere in the integral. Um, I can just pull the d theta over with the 2 pi automatically and get 2 pi times the integral of r. So the integral of r is r cubed over 3 minus r to the 6 over 6 from 0 to 1. And this is going to be 2 pi times 1 third minus 1 sixth. So that's going to be 2 pi. See, so multiply top and bottom here by 2, so 2 minus 1 is 1. So 2 pi times 1 over 6, which is pi over 3. And that's how we do it.